Good morning. Good morning. Has anybody seen that movie? That's one of my favorite movies. Good morning. That is the best movie. If you haven't watched that movie, don't ask me the name of it because now I can't think of it. But it is a fabulous movie. That was vague way to tell you about a movie. From one line. You'll have to figure it out. I can't remember what it's called. Door to door. It's called door to door. Good morning. Hey, Susan. Hello. Hi, Shirley. It's time for brekkie. I'm hungry this morning. I'm ready to eat. I'm looking forward to my breakfast this morning. I woke up this morning wanting this. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Hello. Hey, Jackie. You think my hair looks tame? I got a new curl and iron. Hey, Meredith. My bangs look tamer on here than they do on Marco Polo. Marco Polo, they look like I'm part of an 80s band. Hey, Sarah. Are you going to make my weird salad? I know you sometimes cook along with me. How you end up cooking along with me? Is it? Yeah, it's you that does that. How do you end up cooking along with me? You just happen to have all the weird ingredients in your house that I do. It shocks me every time you're like, oh, I just made it. How did she have that? all the ingredients? Um... I was going to look at something here real quick. Protein. Okay. <laughs> You're going to love this salad then. All right. Here's the salad. My This salad is three ingredients. And it is my new favorite thing. And it's super weird. And if you've jumped on the fermented veggie bandwagon, then you can make this. I don't know what prompted me to make. Hey, Mallory. I don't know what prompted me to make this the other day. Hey, Susan Marshall. Hey, Pam. But I made it. Oh, hey, Meredith. And I don't know. All of the things, like, everything that I put together, I was like, oh, that sounds good. Oh, that sounds good. I'm just going to throw it in a bowl and eat it. And it was, like, the best lunch. And now I've had it, like, twice since then, and I'm going to eat it again because I'm loving it. Okay, so these are the three ingredients. Tuna fish, beans, and fermented veggies. Those are the ingredients, okay? This is probably why mine is so amazing, but you just need a can of tuna. Um, albacore tuna would be a fuel pull. My tuna that I have, if this is my favorite tuna, you guys, this is, I get this from Thrive Market and I'm in love with this tuna. It comes in a jar. How cute is that? Tuna fish in a jar. You can see through it. You can see the tuna, which isn't at all a little freaky, but there's something about tuna in a jar. It's just like that yogurt you get in a jar. It tastes better because it came in a jar. Does anybody else think that or is it just me? Um, this is my favorite tuna right now, okay? It's Skipjack Wild Tuna by Wild Planet. This one is in pure olive oil. <laughs> Sarah. Is, yeah. And the jars are fabulous. I've been washing them. Look, I've got the, I've got it all washed out. I couldn't get that label off. I got to soak it in some goo gone. But it, look at that. They're cute little jars you have left. Somebody needs to empty that dishwasher. It ain't going to move me. I know. Meredith gave me a weird tuna recipe to try, and I'm scared to try it. But I probably will. So you have to use it up quickly. What, the tuna? You don't have to. I'm going to eat the whole jar. But, so this jar has 21 grams of fat because of the, tu because of the um, oil, but I pour the oil off. So I'm not eating all that oil. They include all the oil because they're assuming you're going to pour it over your salad or whatever. But I don't. I don't. Let's see if I can get this off. So that I can reuse that jar. Look at that. It came off perfect. I have been craving tuna. I don't know why. I don't know why. But I'm going to pour the olive oil off into my little espresso cup. See, there's a lot of olive oil in there. 
Look at that. That's why it's 21 grams of fat. That's all olive oil. I'm not eating all of that. I don't need that much fat. So that takes the fat way down. I do too, Sarah. And this is hands down the best tuna I've ever had in my life. The best. I just got it all over my fingers. Now it's going to drive me crazy all day. I'll be like, why am I smelling tuna all day long? So see, I got it's all that oil. I don't need that. Yes, we're having, it's tuna espressos today. Anybody want a tuna latte? I'll make a lovely little foam on the top out of fermented whey from my veggies. A tuna juice and fermented whey latte. Why not? All right, let's get a can opener. Black beans. You could use chickpeas, any kind of beans, but black beans in the jam. Yeah, you're right, Shirley. I love marinated tuna, but it's higher in fat. It's always an S, um, and that's okay. I want, this is a light crossover, but if you used a can of tuna that was a fuel pull, then obviously not. I'm going to drain and rinse my beans. I like my beans rinsed. I'm going to rinse them in this. Um, this is a, my, my uh, wire thing that I just pulled out of the cabinet and found like eight pieces of glass in it. Cause a few days ago I picked up my pampered chef bowl and it like exploded in my hand and glass went everywhere and clearly I missed some. So hopefully I got it all rinsed out this morning cause I really don't need abdominal surgery cause I ate glass. I ain't got time for that today. It's a busy day. I have Chinese food class tonight. I ain't got no time for no surgery. All right third of the can of beans which is i always have to look this has half a cup so it's a half a cup of beans if you wanted a full e you could do more i want a pulled back e so i'm doing half a cup of beans this is cold easy the whole thing of tuna I'm going to leave it like that. That's appetizing. <laughs> it looks like cat food. Meow, 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 meow. All right. These are like big fillets. You see that? They're like whole skipjack fillet. Skipjack is darker than albacore. I love it. You don't, you don't need them. You don't need them warmed up, Shirley. This tuna is called Wild Planet. You could use just a can of any tuna, but this is, this is a, a fatty tuna. This is a um, sustainably pole and line caught. There's some guy. He probably didn't make that face, though. So. Um, this is turtle safe um, in pure olive oil, wild planet. And it's, it's soaked in um, pure olive oil, which, if you're just joining, I poured off. I'm not eating all that olive oil. I poured it off. I, I poured it here so you could see. I'm not actually going to drink it. I'm going to pour it into that can of beans there. I'm not going to actually drink the tuna oil. I could use it in a salad dressing or something. I probably shouldn't have wasted that. All right, so there's my can of tuna. I'm using the whole can. So with all the oil, it's 21 grams of fat, but I'm not eating all that oil. So I'm going to guess it's probably, I don't know, a couple teaspoons of fat in here. And um, it is 30 grams of protein. And then this is the key ingredient right here. I need a spoon with a slot in it. I love that dishwasher. Listen, if you need to go buy, this is just a little quick advertisement. Side note, if you ever need to go buy another dishwasher, save up an extra couple hundred bucks. Just, just do it and get the Bosch, okay? I've owned every brand dishwasher in my life. I've gone through every single one. I've replaced multiple, okay, dishwashers. This, hands down, is the world's best dishwasher. Get a Bosch. Okay. 
Side note, that's my advertisement for the day. No, this is not a paid advertisement. I just like Bosch. You think what juice? The juice from the fermented veggies? There, there will be plenty. But if I don't use the slot, I get too much. I'm just going to do a couple big scoops of that. I may pour a little liquid on there. I get some of the fermented veggie juice. I know. I know. I don't know how anybody survives without a dishwasher. Our neighbors are moving into a new house and he said the only downfall is the house doesn't have a dishwasher. I'm like, and you still bought it? What? No, thank you. No, thank you. you Go pass. All right, that's my breakfast. Tell me it's not weird. It's weird. I already know it. You don't have to tell me. I love it. It's, it's, uh, um, you don't need any salt. Oh, Jackie, I'd rather die. I know I sound like a diva. Nutritional yeast, uh, four ingredients. I like it with nutritional yeast. It's, it's, uh, pickly. Yes, you can, Alice. You can. You just choose not to. Hmm. Yeah, you can. Wendy. It's so good. It is so good. That's my new favorite thing. Yeah, you gotta make these veggies, Molly. These veggies, I'm on my third half gallon. I eat them. Oh man, did I just drop a piece of that in my coffee? I got a fermented onion in my coffee. Yeah, you could put balsamic on it. It doesn't need anything. It doesn't need nothing. Yay, Lois! Yeah, you don't. It doesn't need anything because it has the brine from the fermented veggies, so it's tangy. So it really doesn't need a vinegar. It's got the because I used a fatty tuna. It's got fat in it. But if you are using canned tuna, um, that is um not in olive oil. It's just tuna in water. Then put a teaspoon of olive oil or avocado oil in this to give it some oil. Um, so mine is a smart crossover, but oh my gosh, I'm telling you, it's so good. I love it. It's weird and delicious, just like me. That's right. I said that. Weird and delicious. All right. Well, that was easy. 13 minutes and it only took me about two of that was cooking. Here's what's happening. Tonight we're making honey sesame chicken. I'm having Chinese food on a Friday night and I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. I put nooch on it, Kayla. Ain't you paying attention? There's nooch on it. Yeah, you would just, Alice, if I was doing this without fermented veggies, I would just chop up a few fresh veggies, a couple of pickles. I would like chop up a carrot, maybe a bell pepper, and um, maybe um, a couple of pickles. And then I would put um, some vinegar on it. Sorry, that took me a long time to get that out. <laughs> Um, yes, I did get the name of the class right. What lid on the veggie jar with rubber nipple thing? The happy nipple. You don't need a happy nipple to ferment, but it makes fermenting much more fun when you have a happy nipple that you can go. Listen, I have told you repeatedly I'm a 12 year old boy. Happy nipple. It's a firm, it's a for pickle pipe, Joyce. 
Oh, it's so good, Sherry. It's so good. It's good for you. Tuna. I'm craving fish these days. I don't even like fish. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm eating fish every day. I don't, I don't know why. Mm. Pickle pipe. Peter picked it. I'm chewing in my headphones. I'm sorry. Let me get that down. I shouldn't do that. I forget that you can hear me chewing right over my earbud. My apologies. Let me just wash that tuna down with some coffee. I just spit my tuna in my coffee. <laughs> Kayla said, for those of you on YouTube, <laughs> Kayla said, my husband walked in as you said, happy nipple, and he looked at me and said, I'll see myself out. <laughs> I just spit tuna fish everywhere. Coffee and tuna makes for a good Friday. Um, you know what I need in this? I need a little MCT oil because some of us require extra assistance these days for certain things. We're not going to talk about that. We're already talking about tuna. We're not going to talk about other things. Tuna latte. That's right. I ended up with a tuna latte after all. What was I talking about? Tonight is Chinese food class. We're making honey sesame chicken. And it's going to be delicious. Uh, I hope, anyway. Have I tried the recipe yet? No. I just wrote it, and we're going to make it together, and all hope for the best. So come join my paid class, where I don't know if the recipe will come out well. I'm just kidding. They always come out well. It, that sounded arrogant. I didn't mean it like that. Oh, my recipes always come out well. It's because they're extra special. Um... But we are going to make honey sesame chicken. I know it's going to come out good because, listen, if there is one thing I know how to make, it's Chinese food. I am practically part Chinese. My gelatin did not arrive yet, no. Um, I know how to make Chinese food. So we're going to make honey sesame chicken. We are going to make lo mein. And we're going to laugh and enjoy it together. So if you are not signed up for that class, if you are part of my group coaching, you in for free. If you join Holy Healthy Spring before tonight, you reach out to me and I will make sure that you get the class for free tonight, even though it's not really typically part of the membership. I'll give it to you for free if you join today before the class, like by like five o'clock so I have time to do it. I do have the ingredients, Cindy. I also have the ingredients for the cake that I need to make next week. I ordered them all early. Um, I won't be making the creamy drops before then, Mallory. Um, I won't be. So tonight, Chinese food class. Tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Get your butt out of bed. It's your day off, maybe, hopefully. Get up there, bud. Get up there. Come at 9 a.m. to my webinar, my free webinar called Adapt It, where we're going to talk about the importance of being adaptable. And it's fun. And you get to chat with KJ for a minute. Thank you, Sarah. Do you like that? I got the shirt at, at the Nave. I like these shirts at the Nave because they do this. And then I cover it up. Um, 9 a.m., adapt it. 10.30, immediately following the webinar, we are making strawberry cream Easter eggs. I would love to tell you all what I forgot to get for the, for the beautiful Easter egg recipe. Do you know what I didn't buy? an Easter egg mold. So now at some point today, I need to find my way out to someplace that has Easter egg molds. Hobby Lobby is where I'm gonna hit. So we're gonna make strawberry cream Easter eggs, healthy on plan so that you don't have to sneak your children's Easter basket candy because that's not fair to the little children, okay? Or to your hips. So come join me for that. If you go to my website, you click, I got rid of all that when I moved from Maine. Um, well, yeah, I could use a muffin tin. That's what I'm telling everybody to do is to use a muffin tin if they don't have the um, 
mold. But I'm teaching the class. I should probably do it right. <laughs> I got rid of all that stuff when I left Maine. I got rid of all of my molds except for the cup ones, muffin cup, or uh, you know what I'm saying, the peanut butter cup ones. Um, if you go to my website, joyfullifewithkj.com, you can register there for Adapt It. And as you register, it will also recommend that you register for the egg class. So go do that and come join me. I want to spend my Saturday morning with you. Um, and then that'll be it. Tomorrow we'll have the class. And then, okay, holy healthy spring starting soon. Listen, if you want to do trim healthy different than you've ever done it before, if you're like, oh, I've been in coaching, I've learned all about the plan, I know how to do it, I've joined the groups, I've done this, I've done that. If you haven't joined one of my groups and experienced the community, the community in my group is something incredibly special and unique and life-changing. I'm, I'm just going to say it. Come join Holy Healthy Spring. If you join monthly, if you come to Adapt It, you'll get a promo code to save some money. But I have to eat that bean. It's staring me in the face. Um, you can join monthly for cheaper. Then you can join, you can buy the whole package for a quarter and stay for a quarter. Or you can join monthly and just go month to month and save some money. It is such an amazing community that I literally cannot imagine my life without last night i sat in that chair over there in the corner right here where the beast is currently sitting let me just show you see where he's sitting right don't look at my mess my house is a mess right now i really need to clean it see where he's sitting in the chair all curled up i sat right there last night and i cried for an hour not because i was sad but because the ladies in this community watching them love on each other and watching somebody would come on saying they were struggling with something and the next person would come on and pray over them there are people all over this country praying over each other daily do you understand the power in a community like that it is huge you guys <clears throat> when you have people to do this journey with that literally love you and love on you and take care of you and support you and hold you up to our God, that is a big deal. So if you haven't tried doing Trim Healthy my way, you want to come try it out because it changes everything. I hope you'll join me. If you have questions, you just go ahead and send them on over to me. I got, I got, I got, I respond to messages all day long and I love it. I love hearing from y'all all right guys i gotta go i hope you have an amazing day i've got to go get things done because i have to do fingernails tonight i have to do some fingernails tonight um for the prom prom is tomorrow how is it possible my daughter is old enough to go to the prom so i have to paint something i found fingernail paint look at this I found fingernail paint that is the exact same color as her dress. It even changes colors like her dress does. How weird is that? Isn't that crazy pants? So I'm going to paint her nails and her toes. And I bought her new lipstick. And she's going to get all dolled up. And I'm going to do her hair all fancy. I have a plan in mind. And that's my day tomorrow. A webinar, a class, and a two-hour drive to a prom. Oh, I take, don't you worry, Sherry. I take lots of pictures. All right, you guys, I love you. I was teaching her how to dance last night. You know that song, Shut Up and Dance? I told her that if she can't dance, if she gets nervous and can't think of what to do, just do this. It's like an exercise move and a dance all in one. And I said, then just put a little boogie into it. That's all you gotta do. That's how I dance. As long as you're not at the homeschool prom doing that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You'll get kicked out of the homeschool prom. All right, you guys. I love you. Thanks for joining me. I will see you all back tonight, hopefully for Chinese food class, and hopefully tomorrow morning for a day.